My native name is Mario de Jesus Osuna Villama. I'm uh, 22 years old. I'm from Acapulco, Mexico, uh, Mexico, and I came here when I was six years old. Well, all of a sudden, my mom, my mom had a business in Mexico. She actually owned a hair salon uh, and hair salon school, but she just wanted to give us a better life. They, uh, they just said so many nice things about El Norte, how they call it. Uh, my brother, one of my, my oldest brother, moved here first, and he just uh, let her let told her the story of how up here is like a little bit better life. So she decided to uh, come. How they described it to my mom was that everybody was going to have a better life. I mean, that it will be a little bit easier on you. That uh, and um, I mean, my mom is a single mother of six. She always wanted. Uh, the best for us and she still does so she had to give up her dream I mean her dream was over there she owned she opened up her own hair salon her own hair salon school the first time we attempted was like just basically crossing the border we went to this house and we got uh, we got busted there the house got raided and they sent us back now the second time we did the same thing, but instead of staying in the house, we drove here from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Chicago. We just drove here. She had fake uh, a fake ID, just in case they pulled her over and I was her kid. So uh, yeah, that's how it happened. We drove from Phoenix, Arizona to Chicago. Now that I kind of kind of have a comparison, it, it will be like an episode of Cops when just people come in and you're like a bunch of kids, babies are crying. It's like chaos, but yeah, it was a little bit scary, especially when everything happened. It was at night, so uh, it's like the boogeyman for me when I was six years old. The problem with immigration came in when I was in high school. That's when I very, like, it, it started affecting me little by little. I can just give you one example when it really, really hit me. Um, I was a sophomore in high school. Uh, that's when you start taking uh, driver's ed. I saw my friends going through this process. Like, it's actually like a what do you call that? It's like a rite of passage. I mean, you're getting your driver's driver's license, and for me not to get one just for the fact because I was an immigrant, I can only get the permit, and I saw my best friends getting their license, and they were so happy, like, oh, look. It was something cool to have back then. Now that you think about it, it's just a driver's license, but for a teenager to be, uh, be allowed to drive is actually a very, it's something that's very nice to have, but uh, for me, I kind of had to like be like, oh, well, good for you guys, but I can't get a driver's license. So that's when it really hit me like, wait, I'm different. I didn't want to consider myself different, but that's when I stop and realize, yeah, you're different. <laughs> a, uh, a good person. I just want to grow, grow up and be able to have an impact on people's life. I just want to want to become a uh, an example for someone I mean my ultimate goal is to become the dad I never had and if that's what it takes just I don't want to be I don't care if I'm rich and famous or as long as I become that person in my head that is there for their children I think I'll be good <laughs>